What's good everybody, this is your boy High Flyer and we have today a video that I had to make. I couldn't just, you know, stay silent basically. It's a video that will be, will trigger most of the community because whoever sees it I guess. Because this topic has been, or this issue has been occurring recently from 2K. It's something that is very shady to do and for a big company like 2K they shouldn't be doing and that's the banning of 2K players. Uh, what people have been experiencing recently is you know they're getting banned for st stupid reasons to be honest. The first I'm gonna talk about two sorry I'm gonna talk about two topics two types of bans in this video. First of all I'm gonna talk about you know the normal oops the normal ban and I'm going to talk about the uh, permanent ban, you know? Okay, so what happened is recently, 2K has been banning people for what? For using the market, the auction. That's what's happening. I know it might seem unreal, an, uh, an option or a feature that it's in the game, and yet you just say to players, you know what? No, you can't use it to the way it's designed for it to be used. You will use it like we want you to use. So let's say an example that would get somebody banned, a case that would get somebody banned. First of all, if you let's say you're looking for Russell Westbrook, okay, a Ruby one. Oh, any kind of Westbrook. Somebody like puts him up for very low, let's say in the low 20s or in the low, you know, 10,000s and he costs about 60 or 50 or something and if so you go in you go and you search the auction you find that Russell Westbrook which costs like you find all the Russell Westbrook's basically and then you keep looking looking for the cheapest one and you find one that is below 10,000 and you go pick him up you go snipe him up what will 2k do is how, somehow they will detect that and what will happen is they will ban you which doesn't make any sense why would you ban me because I, mean, I got a better deal than everybody else. I was faster enough to get to go and get the better deal, see it and get it. So why are you banning me for it? I don't know how far the bans have gone. Like I don't know how long they they are. And are you banned for like a month, a day, a week? I I, I have no idea. I'm, hopefully I'm not gonna get banned. So this is one type of ban. Like let's talk about it. What's going on? Like you know. Players, they put cars, let's say YouTubers, they want to put cars, they want to put, you know, they have so many good players and they want to put lesser players in the lineup, they want to sell them for some reason. They got, let's say, Pink Diamond and just giving away good players now, at the end of the year. You're going to ban it because they put in a player that's cheap for their subscribers? Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. And I don't know why 2K is doing this. I don't know. They want you to get. They want you to. It looks. I know the reason. They want you to buy VC, and they want you. They don't want you to grind, and they don't want you to like you know because part of sniping is grinding because you you're sitting there hours just looking at the market and like waiting for the player to be in cheap price so you can go and pick him up. But you can't do that anymore because you get banned for some reason. So they want you to just literally buy VC because you cannot buy, buy the packs that have a topper with MT. And I understand if you get, if you buy MT like from a third party source, you know that, that, that that's a different case, you know. For some reason my game is a bit laggy. I don't know why. But I understand that. But what I don't understand is why would you ban somebody for using a feature that's in the game? They're not exploding it. They're not like. It's not like they're pressing cheat code, they're putting a cheat code like, you know, square, up, down, square, triangle, whatever. It's not like that, it's not like they're doing that. You know, and you don't ban people who basically cheese the heck out of your game and make it unplayable for other skillful players. Like, why, why, why are you doing this, 2K? What, what's, the, what's the real purpose, to, buy, to make us buy VC? No, I ain't buying VC for that. You can go screw yourself, 2K, if, you want, if you're forcing me to spend my real money on a game that yearly changes I did a few times I'm not gonna lie I spent money a few times but I'm not gonna do it. it's not gonna be a habit I'm not gonna I don't have, I don't work to to give my money to kid because basically we're giving them money in that way it's just charity you know and this is one type of band that have been happening the, t the second type of band that has been happening is the 
permanent ban. I've seen, I haven't seen many get that, but how it goes down, what the cases that I've heard and seen on YouTube, when people talked about them, is first of all, let's say you have an account, okay? My account, I buy 500, you know, 500,000 VC. Okay, that's my own account, that's my own money, I buy whatever I want to do with it. Okay, let's say I'm doing, let's say I've gone crazy and I go buy 500, 500k uh, worth of VC. And let's say I have a little brother or, or something, or some friend of mine, and I'm telling him, you know what, dude? You know, you have it, maybe he has a YouTube channel. I'm like, you know what, dude? Take it, take my account, and just spend my own VC that I bought with my own money on my account. And, you know, get that, you know, get that pack open it for you and get, you know, them views up. Or just for entertainment purposes, you know? Just like he wants to open packs, he wants, yeah, doesn't do it, his parents don't let him do it, so, you know, yo, take it, take it and do it, you know? Or somebody like, he, he got like, I don't know, it's any case like that, you know, some for some reason you give your account to a cousin or something, you have VC on it and he asks you, can I open some packs? And you're like, go oh, ahead, what can, what, can, what can happen, you know, what can happen? But it's nothing, nothing bad can happen from it. You're only gonna get a good card or you're gonna get shit, which is what happens usually. So if 2K detects that, what will happen is you'll get a permanent ban. A permanent ban, a perm ban from the game that you spend hours grinding on domination, spend hours grinding on historic domination, and you're just gonna get banned for it. And you spend some money on it as well. You just, your account, the account that you had your own VC, you spend all these hours, and you just gonna, you just gonna, two kids are just gonna ban you for for doing that. What kind of, what, what sense? It's my own money. I spend it like the way I want it. What is your? Why are you putting your hands in my pockets, two K? Why are you putting your hands in my two K? In my two K, in my two K VC? Why are you doing that? Like, just, why? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I'm. I'm really annoyed at how 2K is just exploding everything now. They're the ones who are cheesing us. Not, not we're not cheesing them. Like there are some people that, yeah, they go buy MT and cheese the heck out of 2K, and they're not. Of course, every company wants to make profit. They're not doing it for charity, but you know we're paying them for a game and we're paying them for the features like the auction market, and we can't use it because now they ban people. They don't fix, no, no, they don't fix the odds. They don't fix, you know, that cheese that happens in my team. I don't play my team nowadays. I don't play online. I grinded through historic domination. I grinded through domination. It took hours and hours and hours. And I got Thompson, which is a good pick. A lot of people pick Ben Wallace. But I picked Thompson because I needed a guard. I picked Thompson because I needed a guard. He doesn't have the best shot, to be honest. But I picked him, which is good. Like, the rewards this year, they're very good. But what is the other way you can get MT other than just playing domination over and over again? Or, you know, even from Blacktop, you don't get nothing. You get like 200 VC per game. I know you're gonna, if you grind like 600 games plus, you're gonna get like amethysts and diamonds and stuff. That's hours upon hours upon hours of grinding. And, you know, some people don't have that much of time to do it. They don't have it. Like some people, I got work, I got other stuff to do. I got, you know, gym and stuff, like, what am I supposed to do, just not go to work and, you know, like, spend all my life, dedicate my life to freaking 2K, they can go to hell, for all I care, you know what I mean? And they're just gonna ban me because I, you know, because I sniped a good player from the market? What kind of sense is that? So as I was saying, they don't fix, yeah, I don't play two, they don't fix all the issues with defense in 2K, when you can't move laterally, people cheesing with threes now, zigzagging or going to the corner and just jacking it up with defense, too many fouls and end ones, you know, the, the, the latest patch has improved the end one ratio, you know, probability how much you can get end ones against other players, but you know what I mean, like, it's, it becomes unplayable, before patch three came out, I was 19 and four. And I'm gonna put a picture either at the end of the video or between what I'm saying now to show that. Oh, and now I am, I've played after the patches came out, I played about let's say 20, 15 to 20 games. I've lost about 80% of them. You can't play defense no matter how much, like, it's, it's like, it feels like it's 2K15 all over again. You know what I mean? That's how it feels like. 2K15 was one of the worst, in my opinion. 2K16 was slightly better. But it feels like 2K15 all over again, and 
I'm not happy about that. The only reason that I pre-ordered the game this year and paid extra money for it, I didn't pay much money extra for it because I did an exchange and I got a good deal. But I, because of Kobe, that was the only reason I bought the game, I pre-ordered the game. That's the only reason I'm a Kobe fan, I'm a Laker fan, and Kobe for life, you know? But like, I'm not liking what they're doing. This is not how it's supposed to be, you know, 2K. Or, you know, the, another issue is the park. You know, don't get me, I didn't play the park much yet. Because I played it a bit, a bit and I saw what is happening on it. It's quite ridiculous. Like, you got Demigod, 7 footer shooting, you know, threes like there's Steve Nash, like Steph Curry or something. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? Like, yeah, I understand there's stretch fours and stuff, but... What, what is this? You can't play defense on them, no matter how much defense you're gonna play. They they crippled a lot of archetypes. They crippled, you know, the shot, shoot, shot, uh, shot, uh, shot creator, I think his name is, yeah. They crippled, the Slasher is basically useless now. Uh, who else? Like the ankle breakers, I've heard so many stories going some people angry with it. You know, you spend so much time and dedication into the freaking thing and they, want, they force you to play one type of player. Like one type of kind of type archetype. That, why? Why? Why are they doing this? 2K? Okay, what, what's the purpose of it? Like who? What are you doing? You know. To be honest, last thing I'm gonna say, it's life's time. I've been a lifetime, life, you know, fan since they started. And the only the first time I played 2K was 2K8 when you know 2K when life started going to PlayStation 3. I couldn't buy a PlayStation 3 at that time. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna switch to 2K. It was on PC, so I took, you know, they found a niche in the market that wasn't being used and they took advantage of it but since then issues have been in the game lateral movements defense what i think is that they should just start from scratch that's what i think because it seems like they're trying to fix it but they make it even worse every time that's my opinion like fix your game 2k banning people really really for something that you're not that is not wrong that it's in, implemented in the game itself that's just bogus man till next video guys I hope the game gets fixed. Peace.